kitty wampus. Hi, you guys. Happy Sunday. Let me make sure. Okay, yep, it says I'm live. Uh, oh, my Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going to turn the sound off. Yep, I think I'm muted. Okay, I can see. Hopefully, I can see if you guys comment. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hey, you guys, I'm Katie, and this is my Facebook page, um, Little Rockies Rustic. Um, most of you guys who are here probably know me from the Prairie Designs page, which is what we used to be. I need to grab baby wipe because I just stuck my hand in paint. So you got paint clothes on, no makeup. I am on Facebook with no makeup. Brave, I'm so brave. <laughs> I want to uh, kind of get this so that you guys can see my project, but there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, I just wanted to say, hey, and if you guys are watching, pop on, say hello. Let me know that you're watching. Um, and um, I, this was totally spontaneous. So you're probably going to see this on the replay, which is totally fine too. Um, but I wanted to come on here today because I'm in the craft room this afternoon just kind of messing around and cleaning stuff up and getting ready for the week. And so I thought I better just say hello and um, let you guys know what I'm doing because I've had a lot of people asking me, what are my plans? So I'm going to update you guys a little bit while I um, paint this sign, okay? And of course, I knew that was going to happen, that, just a second, okay, they got it, the phone rings, it's been quiet here all day and then I decided to do this and the phone rings, <sighs> such is life, right? So I've got this board here and I'm going to be painting on it today. <coughs> And I'm sorry, it's a little bit backwards for me. This is a big, long board. And let's see if I have it the right way. I don't. So this is my Merry Christmas porch leaner that I actually never got out on my porch for Christmas time, simply because I painted it and I left it in the house and it it is what it is. Um, and so I'm gonna decorate it for Valentine's Day today and then I can just flip it around when I do put it outside. Now we do have a little bit of snow today, but it's kind of been um, a nice open winter and I've enjoyed that. So I'm gonna do this while I chat with you guys about what I'm doing, but I kind of feel like I need to put another coat of white paint on here. And I'm not gonna get too technical with the details of what I'm doing in today's video. Mostly I just kind of wanted to say hello and um, kind of let you guys know what my plan is. So a lot of you guys who follow me here on this page um, know that we have kind of had a bit of a rough um, 2020, like everybody else, we've had a rough 2020. And so that led us to deciding to sell our store that we had in town. And <clears throat> it's not officially done yet, but it is so close. And it's going to, I mean, I don't think that it's, it's probably gonna be, have to be something totally wild and crazy that would cause it to like not go through. It's just like everything else, you gotta wait. <laughs> Nothing happens fast, and in all actuality, um, the fact that we found somebody who is so excited, I'm so excited for them because they are so excited to take over this store and do the work, and they're so motivated and so smart, like figuring stuff out. So I feel very comfortable with the whole process. And so it's not official. So I hate to say too much um, <clears throat> about it, but it's it's happening and I'm pretty excited because unfortunately just the way that um, everything happened in this last year, 
I just can't do it all. I just can't keep up with everything that's happening in my life. And so getting rid of the store, um, as sad as it's been for both Greg and I, I'm excited that it's happening and that we can take care of what actually needs to be taken care of. So I'm kind of in this weird little limbo area, I feel like, um, where I'm not really, um, like not going to be able to get another job for a while because I need to be home and be available to Greg. And so I'm hoping that my Etsy shop will take off. And so that's my plan. I'm going to work on my Etsy shop and hopefully I can come on here on Facebook and share some fun stuff with you guys just for fun because this, I love doing this. I love creating and I love um, sharing it. I really loved making YouTube videos, crafty YouTube videos. And so hopefully I can get back to that. And um, that's kind of my plan, but I'm just taking it day by day. So yesterday I cleaned up all of my craft stuff that I had brought home from the store. And I have a whole bunch of signs that I'm hoping towards the end of the month I can do another live sale, another live sign sale, and then eventually bring those back too. So between um, what I have going on at home and then um, making signs, hey Amber, thank you, I'm excited too. I'm hoping that it, um, works out and I have got um, a couple of sign making groups and my coaches that are helping me move in the right direction so I can create this as a business and hopefully even after Greg starts to feeling better we can continue it. Um, that would be the ultimate goal. We'll see how it is but I really do feel like um, it was a God thing that those people came into my life this last year and I started focusing a little bit more on the Etsy shop and so that's where I'm going. I kind of feel like I've taken the last couple of weeks and just kind of went, oh, you know, and now that things have pretty much kind of settled with the store and I think that I'm probably not going to be needed there as much like for training and for help. Um, this week I'm going to work on photographing the signs that I have, taking some new pictures, and I probably won't get anything out for Valentine's Day because shipping right now is so atrocious. <clears throat> it just is. So, <coughs> choking on my own spit. I haven't talked this much to anybody. <sighs> so, that's what I want this little bit of... Um, my page to be is so that <clears throat> I can come on here and share some fun projects with you. Um, things that maybe you guys want to learn how to do when it comes to making signs. Um, I do want to do the virtual paint parties um, and then maybe start doing some in-person paint parties. I know the girls at Julia's Junk have been doing in-person paint parties and so I'm hoping that I can jump in there and do that too. Um, but I do want to offer them virtually too, and that would be fun. So, um, if you guys are just popping on here, this was my Christmas porch sign that I put outside. Um, it's upside down. <clears throat> and I painted it to look like shiplap. And so today, I wanted to do... Um, update it for Valentine's Day. So I have some stencils and <clears throat> it's still kind of wet. So this is the paint I'm using. It is Waverly chalk paint. This is from Walmart. This stuff is like liquid gold. It is so hard to find. Everybody during quarantine is like, I'm doing DIYs and I'm crafting. And so when I find the Waverly chalk paint in white, <clears throat> I may or may not buy everything that I find. Sorry, but we don't get to Walmart very often. Um, let me see, what else do I like? I do like the, 
the folk art chalk paint as well this is another good one they both dry pretty fast so it is still a little bit wet I did put two coats on there um, but I'm going to show you guys my stencils <clears throat> and these stencils came from um, the junk to jewel sign making society so this is part of the group that I'm in and I'm gonna piece them together so they're gonna say Valentine I feel like <clears throat> it should be XO instead of OX but I'm gonna have to cut some of it off too because my board isn't as long and I really like the I don't know I prefer the hugs and kisses I like the arrow and <clears throat> this is a horrible demonstration of um, putting transfer tape on there. So hurry up and dry, hurry up and dry. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys another little story about what we've been doing <laughs> the last two days. And um, this will hopefully make you guys laugh. So my son got a virtual reality headset and we had like a really cheap one that you just put your phone in and then you had to download the apps on your phone. Well, this one is like high end because he's got a job so he can afford these things, I guess. I don't know, children. Anyway, um, so we were playing that and there's like this National Geographic um, app or game on there and you have to like sit down in the kayak. And so when you look down, you look like you're standing you know, on the ocean and there's this huge ship and they lower down this kayak to you and then you have to sit on the floor and then it takes you into the middle of these icebergs and you can't see anything else around you because the headset goes all the way around. And so I'm sitting on this kayak like trying to get to where the penguins are and I see these humpback whales and all of a sudden the cat scratched my hand because I was, you know, rowing my kayak and the cat thought I was playing I about pooped my pants <laughs> and then on top of that then as I'm rowing along this penguin jumps onto my kayak it is so realistic and crazy it's so it's so bizarre anyway that was my funny for the day um Greg was trying to learn how to fish which is kind of cool because you know he hasn't been outside the house for a long time so um, I'm gonna make some noise, you guys. I hate to do that, but I also don't want you guys sitting here for 39 days trying to watch me paint this sign. So, I'm gonna heat this up really quick. So what are you guys doing this weekend? This Sunday? Do you have to work tomorrow? Tomorrow's a holiday. Let me know. <laughs> you guys are watching. that up. If you guys are just joining in, I am painting the other side of my Christmas porch leaner. This was my porch leaner that never made it out on the porch for Christmas, but I'm hoping that, um, <clears throat> yes, Amber, you get to work. You get to work and that's good. And you know what? If anybody has been in quarantine, you do appreciate going back to work, don't you? <laughs> you do. So, I am um, I'm updating my porch leaner. I just painted the other side white and I'm gonna decorate it for Valentine's Day. And so then next year I can use it for Christmas and then just flip it around. So that's what I'm doing. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can't hear Greg, he's on the telephone. <laughs> and if you can, I'm sorry, but whatever. So this is my stencil and um, let me grab another one because <clears throat> there's some other stencils that I've got for projects that I'm working on. And you see the difference? 
This one's clear and it's just what I had and I was trying to use it up and I hate that clear transfer tape. So let's see if we can do this without making a huge mess. <clears throat> I'm really working on getting this little area set up to do more of these live videos. So, okay. yeah, I don't want today to be too terribly long either, but I did want to pop on and um, just let you guys know what's been going on and what my plan is. Um, oh yeah, I was going <laughs> to also say <clears throat> that Greg has been feeling really good and I kind of think that We've finally gotten, you know, some of his medical stuff, especially his medicines and stuff, um, straightened out. Oops, sorry guys. I want you to be able to see the project, but I keep turning it the wrong direction. Okay, there we go. So I think we're moving in the right direction there. We'll see. Um, he feels good and things are going well. Like I said today, he was up fishing, virtual reality fishing. <laughs> that probably won't happen a lot, but he's getting there. We just gotta really work on getting stronger and um, go from there. So, there's these little tiny lines in the stencil. I'll wait and see it. So I'm not getting any Valentine's stuff done, but do you guys decorate for Valentine's Day? Do any of you put up <coughs> Valentine's Day decorations? I'd be curious to know how many of you do. I eyeball it. I do not measure anything when I'm putting this stuff on here. Just FYI. I put out a few little red things. Um, I shared on my Instagram a picture of all the red things I had, which red is kind of my color for decorating anyway. So, okay. Might not have been dry enough right there, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered up with some colors. So, oh man. Okay, this is another reason why I don't like this transfer tape. But at the time, that's all I had here. I didn't have my big roll of paper transfer tape. And let me try it at an angle and see if that helps. Yeah, I don't feel like my. My paint is wet, is dry enough. It's peeling some of it up. That's what I get for rushing today. Trashing this stuff. Making a lot of noise, I know. Okay, so I've got that one down and then I can put this one and I'm gonna have to cut do a little kindergarten fancy work to make sure it matches up so I um, am curious what kind of crafty projects you guys would like to see from me I have tons of ideas um, I know what's really popular with a lot of the crafters online are Dollar Tree things and to be perfectly honest with you it's so far for us to get to a Dollar Tree that <clears throat> that's probably not something but I do want to do things that are um, reasonably priced I don't want to be doing like these craft projects that are gonna cost you an arm and a leg to go and get the supplies and then you guys are mad at me um, I probably will be sharing some fun sign stuff that I'm doing um, <clears throat> I told some of the girls that I was chatting with the other night that I really wanted to do the, um, like a heart door hanger and do like the Serape paint technique. So I think that's something that's going to be coming up. 
soon. Um, and here's the other thing, like I just can't plan. I can't say I'm gonna be here every Sunday at five o'clock because I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so hopefully you guys can turn your notifications on and when I pop on, you will see me. Hopefully you're all following me and wanna see what I have to create. And if not, that's fine too. Totally understand. Okay, now, oh, 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 there we go. So there's a little problem. So I'm gonna get that part on there. There we go. Have to do some more of my kindergarten handiwork here. <clears throat> Cut that and go with it. And hopefully you guys um, understand that I'm just here to have fun and share with you and uh, be crafty. So, okay. So I got that part on and now I'll take the transfer tape off again. I wish I could, I wish I had something that on this particular sign that had the paper tape on because it just goes so much better. I'm not gonna say anything, but see how it's like sticking to itself. One more down. Okay, now I'll put the top part on. And I really wanna get the hugs and kisses and maybe the 14, so maybe I'll just cut the love off. And I can use those for something else. They're not gonna be trashed, but. Anyway, anyway, I do have a couple of love things that I wanted to make. I just don't think I'm going to have time to get them. Maybe I will have time to get them done for the live sale. I'm thinking like, what did I say? Like the last, yeah, the last Sunday of the month is the 31st. I kind of feel like, is that the Sunday in between the football playoff game and the Super Bowl? If it is, then that might work for a live sale. I don't want to do it. I should do it like the week that um, <laughs> that the playoff game is going on. You know, you ladies can come shopping while the guys are watching football. Or, I don't know, but maybe ladies like to watch football. I like to watch the Super Bowl. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get to have our Super Bowl party like we do, but we'll see. Anyway, but that's my plan. I've just got so many signs and they need good homes because, but I can't promise shipping for Valentine's Day. Even now, it's, it's a little too late. Unless it was already made up, I'm not gonna get it out the door. So <clears throat> I am working on some spring stuff though and I am working on some like everyday signs. So I have ideas, I have projects, and I have, um, I hope this noise isn't too crazy for you guys. I'm almost done ripping this off and then I'm gonna get my paint. And you know what? I went to, uh, Julia's junk today and Megan was sh showing me some new paint brushes and I kind of wish that I would have grabbed them because now I'm going to have to do all this with my sponges. Oh, and there's my other tin. So I got my tin foil. I don't know how you guys can, there we go. I got my tin foil and I'm going to get my makeup sponges and a couple of variations of pink and red and maybe some purple. 
purple. And what about turquoise? <coughs> what about that? I'm gonna drink. Been talking too much. Okay. <clears throat> Put those away for a different project. And get my paints ready. Hopefully everybody is ready for the week. So we've had some pretty good, um, pretty unusual, I should say, weather for Montana lately. It has been so nice. And today it snowed and it absolutely ruined my day. I did not want to see the snow. <laughs> uh, but I think it's going to be all melted and pretty much gone. So I'm going to add some paint. And like I said, this makeup sponge, this is what I normally do. Um, it's going to work good for like the words and stuff. But it, um, a bigger brush would be better for, for this. Oh, shoot a pickle. I made a little boo. -boo. I think I'm going to have to do some touching up because I'm afraid that things are going <sighs> to, things are going to bleed a little bit with the, um, paint not being dry on my stencil, but <clears throat> this project, it's not going to matter. I'm going to put some sealant on it and stick it outside. And this is going to probably be the extent of my Valentine decorating, especially outside. I'm going to leave my other winter stuff out and just take down the Christmas. I took down everything else for Christmas except for the outdoor stuff. And then we got that crazy wind the other day and it blew everything away. So, so guys, if you, um, you're still hanging out here and watching. Thank you. But this is what I hope to do here on this page is just um, come on and visit and share some projects. Today's project, I kind of kept it pretty simple and not. That's why that was like that. Uh, look at it. My little envelope is gonna be upside down. I just realized that. That's why it should have been XO and I had it upside down. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It was not all off. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I hope to do with my page, is to just come on here and um, share some fun projects with you guys, let you know what I'm doing, and chat if you guys want to chat. You guys are being awfully quiet today and that's okay. It was a totally last minute decision to come on here, but that's all right, it's, it's all good. I think I'm getting a little wild here with my paint. I hope I don't have too big of a mess, but we'll figure it out. So that's what's happening. Those are my updates. Um, as soon as things are finalized with the sale of the store, I will let everybody know. Uh, I just hate saying too much because I don't know what's going on and I can't plan. I'm Like I said, I'm very thankful that they have kind of stepped in and they are taking over and they are doing a very good job and it's all going great and it makes me feel a lot better. I, I almost feel a little guilty like I'm just leaving them but they are so good and know what they're doing and have figured it out and so I feel comfortable <clears throat> with where things are at um and obviously I feel very thankful because that's what I prayed for is that this this is how things would work out and that's that's what I've gotten so um I have to remember to just be thankful for it and not stress myself out more thinking that, oh my gosh, is the other shoe going to fall? Um, so, so I'm just dabbing away here. I am updating my um, porch leaner. <clears throat> Quickly flip it over and show you guys one more time. This was my Christmas one and I just wanted to update it and make it a Valentine's one. So that's what I'm doing today. And 
that's my plan for my little page here on Facebook is to come on and share with you guys some fun crafty projects that I'm working on. Some of the things might be kind of silly and crazy. Um, I don't know if I, I can give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of, um, I do a monthly stamp club group with some of the ladies in my town. Um, and I don't, most of you guys who have been following me know that I used to make a lot of cards and I just don't make a lot of them and I don't scrapbook anymore. Um, I don't even feel bad about it because I found other things that I enjoy and so I'm good with it. But I do still make cards for my stamp club ladies and with COVID and everything um, and then our life stuff, we I haven't been to stamp club in a long time and so I'm hoping, I don't know if I'm gonna go this next week or not, it just depends. Because <clears throat> I'm still trying to stay away from COVID and stay healthy myself. But I made some um, hot cocoa bombs. Have you guys tried them yet? I didn't actually try them, but I did make some. And then I made some cute little cups for them to go in. So I think I'm gonna post a picture of that on my page later this week. <clears throat> and um, you guys can check it out and see what I made for those ladies. So I think if you're wondering why this is upside down, it's because I goofed this up. I should have looked at the picture before I did this, but it doesn't matter. It's going on my porch. It's not something I'm going to sell. So <laughs> when I do make things that I'm selling, I do, I do care a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but today I'm just kind of having fun and wanted to come on and chat with you guys. <clears throat> I've been wanting to do this for a little while and just, uh, sometimes it's hard. I don't know why. Well, and a lot of times it's because I just don't know what to tell people. Like I have no, I, like I was telling my friend the other day, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. I just don't. And so I'm just kind of going with the flow one day at a time. That's pretty much all I can do right now. Things are going well for the most part, and um, we're getting there, but it's still one day at a time. And I should have put gloves on because now I'm gonna have red fingertips. <laughs> but that's okay too. So I'm curious if you guys are, um, if you decorate for Valentine's Day, or if you just enjoy the peace and calming from not having to decorate for a holiday. I feel like after Christmas, when you clean stuff up, my client cleaned up an area in our living room today and I was like, it's kind of naked. Like I feel like it needs something else in there, but <clears throat> I don't have anything else and I don't really want to get anything else. Um, so last year, at the beginning of 2020, I had a plan to go through and like redo um, one room in my house every month, like repaint, fix up the decorating since we've been here for so long, so long, I think it's been six years. You decorate a little amber, awesome, yes. Yeah, I like, this might be the extent of it and then might pull out some hearts or something. Um, so I never got to that last year in 2020. So this year I'm gonna try it. And I think <clears throat> the first room that I'm gonna tackle is my living room. And I have a wall in there that I got some shiplap wallpaper for. And it was so bad it wouldn't stay up. I stapled it up. <laughs> and it's ridiculous, it needs to come down. And so I have a bunch of wood, like old rustic wood, and I'm trying to talk myself into it, like getting away from the white. Like I don't want to do the white anymore and maybe go with the rustic, but I'm having a hard time with it. So, and it really is gonna be an easy project. And then I'm gonna get some new curtains 
and um, I have a chair that I'm going to redo. So I think that, you know, the ship has sailed for January. I'm going to work on it in February. So we'll see. Those are my goals. And then I have, um, I just feel like we need to touch up the paint in our house. So those are my goals. What do I have there? There's something weird that's not taking the paint. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of turquoise. Maybe I feel like this needs to be red too. Might as well. It's got the heart on there. Okay. So, is everybody ready for the new week? That'll be my next question to you. Are you guys ready? I already asked. If you have tomorrow off, I know that it's a bank holiday, but yes, school's in session. <clears throat> the worst part is, like I can't go run any of my errands because the banks are closed tomorrow, the post office is closed tomorrow. So, um, we do have to go to town for Greg's appointment in the morning, and then I will see what's going on and then maybe come back here and work on the pictures for my Etsy shop and share with you guys maybe a picture of all the signs I have. And like I said, tentatively, I want to plan for um, the end of the month to do a live sale. I better check the football schedule, <laughs> make sure I'm not interrupting anybody's football night and then go from there um and maybe in the next couple of weeks i'll get a few more valentine signs like i said i just don't want to um ship anything right now shipping is just <clears throat> taking so long but maybe i'll just skip ahead and get with the the spring stuff that i was thinking oh i forgot this arrow and then i'm gonna be ready to peel this off and hopefully I didn't get too wild with my <clears throat> bleeding oh yeah and this one I'm gonna take it off and go ah oh, shoot forgot everything so that's what I wanted to come on here tonight you guys um, update you and what's going on with life and we'll let you know my plan. Um, I know that um, hopefully things will work out. I have some big ideas for my Etsy shop and for my sign making. So um, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity that I've been given here. Being able to be home and, um, <clears throat> and share those things. So... I don't want to get too crazy. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like it might be a big mess. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So my white paint was not dry enough. But, like I said, this is for, this is for me. When I do signs for, um, for sale, I usually... Like base coat, a whole bunch of stuff in advance. I don't think you guys can see it on the camera there, but eh, it's gonna have a rustic look to it, okay? <laughs> it's not my ideal, but I wanted to get this done and I should have base coated it and let it dry before I popped on here, but it is what it is. So, there's that. Maybe this one will be a little bit better. Not much. But hey, it didn't bleed. Ah. So this is just going to go outside of my front porch. I will put like a little spray of poly sealant on there so that I know that it won't get weathered. And, and it'll be good to go. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish peeling this off. This is very tedious, but 
this is what I did on this beautiful Sunday evening where I popped on Facebook Live with no makeup on to just sit here and chat with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you appreciate the updates that I have and um, hopefully I will see you soon. Next time I'm going to try to let you guys know a little bit more in advance of what I'm doing and um, that way you guys can pop on and join me again. But if you join me tonight, thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a good rest of your evening. Have a great week.